All right, so rearranged the garage so I can move it out. I hooked it back up to, to power. Now I have a remote control that opens and closes this door. The lower one just swings, it's on hinge. Um, and uh, just, I've been working on the inside because you know, when you make it for, and you're the only one that's gonna drive it, safety is not necessarily your first priority. <laughs> so, um, but now that I have passengers sitting in there, I've been thinking, you know, going over, is there anything to snag on them? Are there loose wires? You know, is zip tying wires up. I had to move the joystick over here and put it level. It was, tilted back and I realized that when I would go to drive it, the weight of this, it just wanted to go in, uh, in reverse. So that was not uh, so good. But now what I'm doing here is, or what I'm doing tomorrow night is, you know, the now that the battery's installed behind the seat uh, and secured so it can't go anywhere, now I'm gonna uh, wire it up so it'll come up to a barrel plug up here and and then the main power line comes to here so I can plug the two together or unplug it and then plug it into a charger. And then it does just sit back in here. Um, I may, if I find a nice like brass box or something like that, I'll put the brass box here and uh, put the connection in it. But yeah, it's, uh, it's I think it's really coming along. Um, I believe all I'm gonna have to do to get in the trailer is unscrew this and take it off yeah, and then it should be okay. But uh, we shall see. Now, I think it is safe for a regular person, but not John Strangeway. You know, that's a whole different level of tough building that, you know, anybody who's ever built anything and let John try it out knows that um, that's just a whole different level of quality <laughs> and toughness you have to go for. <laughs> All right, so I finished wiring everything up. All I have to do now is wire up the plug for my charger to be able to charge the 12 volt wheelchair battery that powers all the electronics. But um, I also, I should. How this door opens and closes. And the remote control. <laughs> Ready? Go. Okay, let's see what this does. You know, I'm going to leave that in the video. Um, yeah, this remote is not the greatest. So what happened was the the bottom door has to be closed. Otherwise, you know, it's a design flaw. Th this used to be one big door, but it was just a bit much. So anyway, because the door wasn't closed, it was getting stuck on this. All right, so when you get in the vehicle, you come and you sit on this nice wonderful seat here and you close this door here um, I will hit the button that closes the door some aligning to do. <laughs> Whoa, wow. It is crooked. I could have just been, okay, never mind. I guess it was just because this was extended more. Anyway, um, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the Uh, let's see. I'm going to turn on the 
light. I have to figure out a good, good pattern. I think the blue, the blue like pulsating would be really cool. Something like that. Um, and then you also have the options to the headlights out there. You can kind of see them come on. And we have, and then we have this and my monitor so that you can see upside down. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to flip this camera here up because it is looking upside down. Now, normally this would be for me so that I can see better to, to where I was driving. It used to be this was the rear camera and this was the front one. So I could see in front of me and behind me. But um, since I no longer need one in the back, I put it up on the front here. And so this is more of like a gimmick. Um, maybe at some point I'll put bigger monitors in here. So, but this is what she looks like and if i go and open her back up it's loud and takes a while but thing I do not know is if I how many times I'm going to be able to open and close this I mean it is a whatever 18 amp hour uh, rechargeable um, wheelchair battery but that is cranking some juice you can see I'm at 11.1 .1 or 11.6 volts here and as it's opening up it's dropping to 9 volts so I'm not a engineer engineer but uh that's some pretty good um amperage pull so i guess we'll see i guess we'll see at atlanta steam expo but this vehicle is officially as done as it's going to get for atlanta <laughs> so uh i look forward to seeing all of you in the atlanta steampunk expo